KCAA Radio AM 1050. Hey, tell a friend. AM 1050. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starfly and Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Welcome to the show, everybody. And, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. Do you believe we finally have a three-day weekend? How exciting. And I just want to let everybody know, which you already probably know, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Make sure you have a full tank of gas before you get on that freeway. I was coming down from the mountain. It was bumper to bumper and going back towards Palm Springs area the same way. So relax. Make sure you have a snack, some water in the car. Keep the station tuned on to KCAA 1050 and relax and you'll get there. But make sure your tank is full of gas. Yes. And... If any, if you all looked at my post today, uh, you're going to see that we have some very, very interesting guests coming on the air today, and this show is all about Memorial Day weekend. We're going to be talking about different places to go for the best deals for your food, for your barbecues and your picnic baskets and all of that good stuff. Also, we're going to be talking to Gail Kelly from Anna's Linens. Holy moly, if you all want to go and save some money this weekend to make them last-minute surprises for your tables and your patio, on a picnic blanket, in the park, wherever, definitely go. Definitely go. You're going to be happy. And that's all I'm going to tell you because we're going to be talking to her in a little bit. And Joey is our board op today. Yay. Hi, Joey. I couldn't find my microphone. It was like 20 <laughs> feet up in the air. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> Looking around going, all right. Yeah, it's been a long week for all of us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so how you doing, Joe? Uh, recovering. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good. And I see the light a-flashing. Uh, is anybody there, or is it just a-flashing? Yeah, you know, we have lights just flash for no reason sometimes, but we have Kamal from What Goes Around Clothing. He is on line 12. Okay, good. Kamal, how are you? I'm doing very good. How are you doing? We're doing good. We're surviving. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Yes, and uh, how is uh, everybody doing down there getting ready for the holiday? Everyone's doing excellent. You know, we're uh, we're preparing. We're getting ready actually for the weekend and for the holidays. We're we're really going to welcome it with open arms. First and foremost, let me tell you, say thank you so much for for having me on your wonderful show. Oh, you're quite welcome. And uh, let's tell everybody our what happened. I was I and Richard, my partner, was down into your area last. Uh, it was on Thursday, Wednesday. And uh, we were with Joyce uh, Goodman, and we went to the chamber meeting, the ribbon cutting there for the assistant leagues, and we were all snooping around and having lunch. And she was the one that told me about you and your lovely store. And we popped in, and I just got this fantastic feeling coming over me. It was calming. It was exciting. Everything all rolled into one at the same time. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's actually the uh, the theme of the story. We try to stay eclectic. So you know, we try to take uh, a little bit of a little bit of everything and put all the good parts and then uh, incorporate it in the story. But thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. You're welcome. And uh, before we go on, would you please tell everybody the beginning of the, your story? When did you get started, and why? Yeah, I uh, what goes around clothing uh, was born February second of. 2013. Um, basically, my start into the business was, I, I guess, just like many people, you know, we, we felt the recession hit pretty bad. Um, so from what I was doing before, I used to be a sales manager for, uh, for a steel company, and now I've, I've kind of evolved and come into a totally different industry. And that just happened with contacts. And, and basically, when I first started, I, I wanted to really keep my store very homey. Um, you know, very comfortable, and that's basically how we develop. You know, even from when people walk in and we give them a, water, a bottle of water um, or bubble gum to their choice, and you know, we really treat our customers like family. 
and that I seen with my own eyes. Yeah, well, thank it, you. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know, for us, it's that we have to we have to realize, and, and one thing that we do here, our culture is realizing and saying thank you to those that make us. So a lot of stores they work the other way around, where they have that attitude of, "Hey, you guys should be thankful we're here." We actually take it the opposite, where we say, "Thank you for being here." And that is so true. And now, when you uh, when you got the store and you got it all set up, let's start dividing the store. F- and have the listeners walk through it with us as we're explaining it, where they can visualize in their mind what it looks like. And let's start with as soon as you walk into the front door on the right-hand side of the wall, all of them fantastic things, some big round things that you have hanging up there. You know what I'm talking about. (laughs) We have a a wall of records. It's just basically uh, as you walk in on the right-hand side behind the cash register, uh, there's probably a four by four uh, space, and it's all covered with vinyls and um, laser discs, even. Um, so, you know, then you continue to walk, and we organize the store by size. So we don't do by color, but we do everything by size. Uh, and the racks start from lightest to heaviest. So it goes tank tops to jackets, and then shorts to, to jeans. Um, you know, and then in the front is called uh, the more modern styles, and we carry all name brand clothing in very good condition. And then when, as you make your way towards the back, we also carry uh, Army fatigue, um, things even from the World War II era to even the Victorian era. And as you go towards the back, that entire, it's almost like a second store with, with just vintage. Mm-hmm. And it's all authentic vintage, uh, you know, in good condition. It's, it's nothing, uh, the remakes or the vintage patterns. Uh, these would be authentic vintage pieces that are, are just beautiful, one of a kind. Oh, they are. They're absolutely gorgeous. In that one dress that um, you and I were looking at, and you, and you, you know the one I'm talking about, right? And, I, I do. And, you know, I actually I have that on a rack waiting for you to come pick up. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, ma'am. No kidding. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, of course. Yeah. You're very welcome. And why don't you tell all of our listeners what this particular dress is? You know, it's uh, the particular dress that we're talking about. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, the one I, I think we're talking about. It's a, a beautiful, uh, almost like a cocktail dress uh, with a very sparkly and shiny. And it's, uh, it's just a, a wonderful, you know, it, it goes on. Actually, the dress, it uh, epitomizes what the store is. And I could say chic vintage. You know, and that's probably the best way that I could describe the dress. Yes. Well, I should be back in your neck of the woods in a couple of weeks. And then, you know, I'll I definitely come. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll definitely come and visit with you again. And the other thing that I love about the store is the way everything is set up. And like you said, you go by the the colors and, and the styles and from the shorts to the jeans, from the T-shirts to the blouses. And it it's set up so unique. I have never seen a store set up like that before. And it is so much fun going through there. Because of the way it's set up. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's you know we really pay attention to the the flow. Um, so the idea is you know it's, when you come in, it's, it's uh, there's a lot of antiques, uh, collectibles, just beautiful pieces. I mean, I have a, a gumball machine telephone. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a, a tall Japanese pedestal telephone, which is probably about three feet high. Um, you know, I even have uh, the platform shoes with dice in them that float. Yeah. Um, so it, it's. Is, yeah, it's it's a little bit of everything, you know, and we we try to keep very unique. And you know, the one thing is we're we're very very close to South Coast Plaza, so I feel like you know basically if I were to continue with a cookie cutter, I would be competing with South Coast Plaza mm-hmm. and win. They do over a billion dollars in sales, so that's what a totally unique, out of the mold, out of the box. Uh, and so far, so good. You know, I, I think we're, we're we're doing it pretty decent. You know, we. Get involved a lot with community, so we even have open mics, uh, and that's just for the college students. You know, that's a, a free show, so everybody comes in. I, I, on average, I probably get forty to sixty people that come per week or per month, and everyone kind of just comes, hangs out. You know, we work with the homeless here. Um, you know, even now I'm working with a, a couple of organizations that that help, uh, but I am a for-profit thrift shop. Um, so that's where you know, for me, it's one of those things where we pay our taxes, we pay our dues. Um, and now on a personal side, it's how I can work with community. and it's, it's, it's just a wonderful feeling to be able to give back. 
isn't it? I wish more people felt like that. You know? Yeah. And well, I, thank you. You're welcome. And then uh, talking about all the duty daddies, the thigamajiggies, and the whatchamacallits that you have, also some of the paintings that you have in there are unbelievable. And that phone, the three-foot phone that uh, you have there, Joyce and I were talking about that. And yeah, the, the, yeah. yeah, and then you have all the accessories. You have the hats and you have the bags and the jewelry. So if one has a good imagination, they could go there and they could get a brand new wardrobe, which nobody else is going to have. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a one-stop shop, you know, just like how you said. Jewelry, we carry everything. Even the sizes of clothing, we go all the way from extra small all the way up to 3XL. And that's for men and women. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's one thing that we really focus on, keeping a good balance, whereas a lot of thrift stores, they kind of focus on the on the male or the female. We really focus on both. And, you know, it's even one of those things where if, if my customers, which my family members, you know, if they have something of request uh, or they've been looking for something, I do welcome for them to, to send me an email with a photo or, or something that I can maybe try to, to be their shopper for them. Mm-hmm. So we really offer any services. We don't turn anything down. We say yes to everything. And if we can't do it, then we get back with the person and say, how, how can we do this together? Um, but we really are, are very an open. We're, we're not corporate at all. I, I really hate those red tape bureaucracies that, that happens with that. But we're very just a, a family-oriented family shop. We're very open. And, and you know, we we're very proud to say that we're, we're really a one-stop shop. You know, we carry bikes, we carry vintage roller skates, we carry uh, vintage art pieces. I mean, I even have a Salvador Dali lithograph, you know, valued at 10 grand. Mm-hmm. So I really try to keep a, a very eclectic vibe. And that's what makes it so unique. You know, it, it really does. Yes. And then uh, why we're talking, let's take a little break and why don't you bump out your contact information and then let's go on down the line. Yes, ma'am. You got it. We, uh, I, I guess for this, do you, do you want me to do it now or after the break? No, do it now, and then we're going to keep on okay. talking. Yes, ma'am. You're the boss. So we're on <laughs> Harbor and Adams. Uh, my email email is, if anybody wanted to, uh, to email us, it's Kamal, K-A-M-A-L, at W-G-A-C stores, plural, dot com. So I, have one, I have one shop right now, but I am planning to have more, God willing. So we'll see what happens there. Mm-hmm. Uh, our phone number here is area code 714-855-7900. And again, we're located right behind Orange Coast College on Harbor and Adam. And it is so easy. And that's uh, Costa Mesa and the zip is 92626. So if you want to Google it. And it is a very easy oh, drive. Yelp. I encourage your listeners to please check out our Yelp page. If you, if you go on Yelp, Costa Mesa, what goes around clothing? Mm-hmm. I'm very proud that our store we have 88 reviews, four and a half stars out of uh, out of five. So I mean, we're, you know, that's one very proud achievement that I feel we we've, we've accomplished. Yes, and especially in the short time that you had it. Yeah, a year and four months. That's right. Yeah, thank you. You know that that's amazing. And then now the other thing too, uh, people usually are talking about the female items. You know, the dresses and this and that. Let's have a little fun, and let's go into your sure. men's department. When uh, we were down there and we were walking through the store, the suits that you have, the men's suits, they were impeccable. I, the, the quality of the, of the material, the way it was sewn, that the way they were lined, I, th- that just blew me away. Yeah, we carry, we carry uh, like tank tops all the way up to, like you said, uh, Italian-made suits. Um, you know, again, we really focus on emphasizing on carrying name brands. The reason why we do that is because I feel that's the most value. And as long as we can offer value, I think customers will really appreciate that. So we try to stick with that. I mean, we carry furs. You know, I have uh, real fur. I have big fur. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we 